Still looking for a cure for hearing loss? Well, you may be in luck. Hey guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm talking about three different cures for hearing loss that are already available. Now it's generally accepted that there is no universal cure for hearing loss. Some conspiracy theorists even believe that there's not yet a cure for hearing loss because there is too much money to be made in the treatment of hearing loss. After all, as of 2023, the global hearing aid industry was worth $13 billion, which is a lot of money. But when you stop to think about the trillions of dollars that would be made through the discovery of a cure for hearing loss, it makes this $13 billion of the hearing aid industry seem like peanuts. Meaning that the financial incentive to find a cure for hearing loss is way more than the financial incentive to not find the cure. When we think of different hearing loss cures, we're generally thinking of three different types of treatment. We're either talking about molecular therapies, which would mean creating drug compounds that regrow hair cell function. We're talking about genetic therapies Therapies, which would require the altering of genetic code to regrow hair cell form and function, as well as stem cell therapies, which typically means that we're regrowing hair cells in a lab and then transplanting them into the cochlea to restore hearing function. The bottom line is, if researchers could figure out a way to restore hair cell function inside of the cochlea, we could cure 90% of hearing losses virtually overnight. But even though scientists have not yet figured out a way to cure hearing loss for 90% of cases, there are 10% of cases that you could make the argument have already been cured. Of course, there is some debate as what cured really means, but in my opinion, if you can actually perform a treatment on someone's hearing loss and it can restore them back to their original function without continuing treatments, then I would consider that a cure. Which is why I believe that there are actually three cures that already exist for hearing loss. But before I tell you exactly what these three different cures are, if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button, it really helps out the channel. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, go ahead and do that as well. It is greatly appreciated. And if you have been waiting for a cure for hearing loss, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section. Like I mentioned briefly before, the vast majority of hearing losses are caused by damage to the inner and outer hair cells inside of your cochlea, which is your hearing organ. When these hair cells become damaged, the ear is no longer capable of receiving the vibration of sounds and transmitting them up to your brain, resulting in a hearing loss. However, not all hearing losses are created by damage to these inner and outer hair cells. There are are other causes of hearing loss that can actually be cured. The first cure that I'm talking about is the use of steroids. No, I'm not talking about steroids for working out. I am talking about steroids like prednisone that can be used to treat sudden sensory neural hearing losses. Sudden sensory neural hearing losses, as the name would suggest, occur instantaneously and often in only one ear at a time. There is speculation as to what actually causes a sudden sensory neural hearing loss, but one common belief is that there is a viral attack that is happening inside of your cochlea. When this occurs, there is a lot of inflammation that is created inside of the cochlea, which prevents your inner and outer hair cells from functioning properly, giving you a hearing loss. The reason why steroids can restore hearing for this particular type of hearing loss is that when steroids are taken either orally or injected through the eardrum, it can reduce the amount of inflammation inside of the cochlea, preventing permanent damage. However, these steroids are most effective if they are taken within one to two weeks of the onset of your sudden sensory neural hearing loss. If you happen to wait too long, the chance that these steroids will actually cure your hearing loss is very minimal. This is why if you experience a sudden decline in hearing in only one of your ears, it is imperative that you seek out the help of a hearing care professional to get properly diagnosed so you can get on the road for treatment to cure your hearing loss. The second treatment that could cure your hearing loss is surgery. Now there are a lot of different hearing losses that can be treated by medical intervention like surgery. For instance, if you happen to have a perforation or hole in your eardrum, a doctor can place a paper patch on your eardrum to allow your eardrum to grow back together. Or in more extreme cases, your doctor may be able to perform a tympanoplasty to surgically repair a hole in your eardrum. In most cases, if the hole in your eardrum is fixed, you end up going back to the level of hearing that you had before the hole was present. Another type of hearing loss that can be treated with a surgical procedure is otosclerosis. Otosclerosis is when you have abnormal bone growth inside of your middle ear on the ossicle bones, which prevents the vibration of sound making it from the eardrum to your cochlea. In these cases, a surgical procedure called a stapedectomy or a stapedotomy is performed. This is when your stapes middle ear bone is surgically removed and replaced with a prosthesis. In many cases, this will restore the vibration of sound from the eardrum to your cochlea so you can hear again. 
Now, there are other forms of hearing loss that can be treated with medical intervention, so I highly recommend you ask your hearing care professional if the type of hearing loss you have can be treated with surgery. That being said, the third cure for hearing loss is earwax removal. You would not believe the amount of hearing losses that are actually caused by something as simple as earwax. When you develop a plug of earwax inside of your ear canal, it prevents the vibration of sound from making it through your ear canal to your eardrum. It results in a 30 decibel hearing loss across every frequency of your hearing, which is roughly equivalent of you wearing an earplug. To cure this type of hearing loss, all your hearing care professional has to do is perform earwax removal. There are several different techniques that can be used to remove impacted earwax, which includes curette extraction, suction, and even irrigation with water. If the consistency of your earwax is rather wet and sticky, a hearing care professional will typically use a curette to scrape it out of your ears or using suction to suck it out of your ears. If your earwax is dry and hard, they may have to use irrigation to flush the plug of earwax out of your ear canal. In some cases, you may have to use earwax softening drops to break down the impacted earwax so it can come out of your ear canals more easily. Either way, once the earwax is removed from your ear canal, it will restore your hearing back to the levels that you had before the impaction happened. Now, if you happen to have a type of hearing loss like sensorineural hearing loss due to the damage of inner hair cells and outer hair cells inside of your cochlea, then we do not yet have a cure for you. Will we see a cure in our lifetime? Maybe, maybe not, but as of right now, we do not appear to have any cures on the horizon. A few years ago, we thought we were close with the development of FX322 and FX345, which are molecular therapies, but both of those ended up not being effective. Genetic therapy is definitely not there yet, and we're even further behind on stem cell therapies. In the meantime, while you're waiting for a cure, the best thing that you could do right now is actually treat your hearing loss with whatever treatment options are available, like hearing aids. While hearing aids cannot permanently correct a hearing loss, they are extremely effective while you're wearing them. Not only do hearing aids help you hear and communicate better, but they also can help you slow down the rate of cognitive decline that could occur if you go with an untreated hearing loss for too long. The only caveat is you have to find a hearing care professional who follows comprehensive audiologic best practices if you want your hearing aids to work correctly. And the best way to find one of these hearing care professionals is to go to my website hearingup.com and find a HearingUp network member in your area. HearingUp members are committed to following comprehensive audiologic best practices to ensure that your hearing aids are fit and programmed properly so you can hear your absolute best. So if you're waiting for a cure and you want a treatment that works extremely well, finding a HearingUp network member in your area is your best bet. All right, let's go ahead and do a quick recap of the three different cures for hearing loss that already exist. The first cure is steroids to treat a sudden sensorineural hearing loss. While steroids are not a guaranteed cure, if they work for you, you will be happy that you use them. The second cure is ear surgery. If you happen to have a condition that is caused by some damage to structures inside of your middle ear space, surgery could actually cure your hearing loss. And the third cure is earwax removal. If you happen to have a plug of earwax inside of your ears, all your hearing care professional has to do is remove that plug and they can restore your hearing. It is my belief that it is just a matter of time before scientists can discover a cure for hearing loss. But until that happens, I highly recommend that you treat your hearing loss with whatever treatment options are currently available. It is entirely possible that if you go with untreated hearing loss for too long, whenever a cure is developed, you may not get the full benefit of that cure. When you consider the fact that you actually hear with your brain, there is no guarantee that if you go through auditory deprivation for too long of a period of time, even when you restore audibility of sound back to the brain, your brain may not be able to use it. At the end of the day, we all want the same thing. We want to be rid of hearing loss once and for all. Because if there is one thing that we all have in common is that if we live long enough, we will eventually all have hearing loss and that is something that none of us really want.